The Turkish company of FNS are the largest supplier of tracked combat vehicles to the Turkish Land Force of Command. In addition, they have supplied large numbers of their tracked infantry fighting vehicles and variants to Malaysia and are currently engaged in a major upgrade program in Saudi Arabia and have already upgraded over 1,000 M113 vehicles to the A4 standard. One of their most recent projects is this one. This is the Marine Assault Vehicle and that has been developed to meet the requirements of Turkey who are going to take delivery of an LPD. Under a contract signed as recently as 2017, Turkey has in fact ordered a total of 27 vehicles including 23 armoured personnel carriers, two command vehicles and two recovery vehicles. A key feature of this vehicle obviously is fully amphibious and before entering the water the trim vane is erected and stowed under the nose of the vehicle and the water jets switched on. It also has a self-defence capability as mounted on the roof is a remote controlled weapon station armed with a 50 cal machine gun. It is powered by a diesel engine coupled to an automated transmission and will have a maximum road speed of up to 70 kilometres an hour. Water speed with the two water jets mounted one either side of the rear will be seven knots. Many vehicles use the old American LVTP7 or AV7 as it's called and FNS see a potential for this vehicle in some parts of the world, particularly Indonesia with its last supply of islands. So the Zaho Marine Assault Vehicle could potentially meet that requirement. The first example is now being built and this is expected to be unveiled officially for the first time at the IDEF exhibition to be held in Istanbul next year. The hull will be of all aluminium construction and fitted with a complete layer of additional armour.